name's Joanna Nicholas and I'm a dancer and exercise scientist. I first tried pole dancing in 2006 and from my first class I could see the potential in it in being a powerful form of exercise. I've worn the hats of instructor, studio manager, performer and I see myself as a lifelong student of pole dancing. As a dance and exercise scientist I'm interested in understanding the science of pole dancing. The reason that I'm doing a PhD in pole dancing and the science of pole dancing is because it's become a really popular form of recreational activity and as a sport and there's little to no evidence on the scientific side of the activity. So my thesis and my research comprises of four studies that span psychology, physiology and injury prevention. The first study looks at why women pole dance. So I interview 38 women to understand what got them to classes and why they continue pole dancing. The second study looks at the physical demand of a class so we can understand if you were to do a class how many calories you burn and how it classifies as a form of physical activity according to the American College of Sports Medicine guidelines. The third study looks at changes or potential changes to the body and the mind over eight weeks of classes. In this class we look at things such as body image, uh, physical self-concept, uh, changes to body composition and physical fitness. This study will also help future studies that conduct um, in randomised control trials. And the last study looks at injury surveillance. So what I was interested in was looking at what injuries occur in pole dancing, what areas of the body get injured, and then we can use that to inform future studies of areas of the body to focus on. in February 2019 and I really hope to be able to continue the research in the area as it's really needed but of course this will depend on funding. In the meantime I'm looking to publish the rest of my work and focus on disseminating the results to the pole dancing community and the public and I can't wait to share it with you.